In this video, I am going to solve some of the problem you might face uh, while developing this application. As you can see, we are using Font Awesome. It is going to show the icon here, but for some of us, it is not going to show. If I right click and inspect element, do I did not add the Font Awesome? It still is working. I just uh, selected, as you can see here, it is saying injected style sheet. I don't know what it what does it mean injected style sheet because uh, we have not used the the font awesome it still is working but for some of us it is not working uh, i think it is because some of this extension will uh, will uh, save this in uh, your browser that's why it is not working even if you come here right click and uh, empty cache and hard load it still it is going to work just fine it is because of those extension i cannot remove now all of those extension to see if it is working or it is not working so i will just show you how you can add the the font awesome in your project and the next thing is that uh, how you can uh, just start running your application without running some uh, source of server in the background because you are using maybe you are using VM server or LAMP or any other Linux uh, server I'll, I don't need to go to this URL I will just a custom URL for this one first thing I will go to localhost come down I will add a uh, virtual host here the name I will put as crad.test you cannot put the dev because the latest version of chrome it is not going to support dev without http uh, here in the url https the next thing is that I am going to reference it in my desktop it is inside my desktop and the name is crad here is my desktop and then I start the server now it says that you should uh, restart your DNS server. I will run the VAMP first. Now it just show up here. Now I can go to the VAMP icon here. Okay, re click it here. Uh, just right click over this. Going to the tool. Restart DNS. Now it will uh, restart DNS once the icon change to green. Now I have access to the CRAD that test in my URL. If I go to here, go to Google, it will go to google.com. Of course, I will come here and say test uh, CRAD that test. Again, it is going to Google, but it says that if you want to go into HTTP CRAD that test, let us know. Now it is coming here. In this file, it is going to show the directory structure of our level. If I come to public. It is showing just fine, but I don't want to see the public. The way you solve is uh, there is there is two way you can solve this. I will show you both way. One is correct, one is incorrect. Most people use the incorrect one. If you uh, this is the incorrect one. If you come here and uh, create an index file in your root directory of your project, index.php. Of course, you can uh, tweak it like this. Header location. You should go to okay sorry going to public slash index dot php well you can do this it must work just fine i am going to come here test now it is opening our project we are going to the test again it is going to work it just redirect us to the public and index dot php so it is not what we want because uh, if you come here and put that env you have access to the e environment file here the one of the one way is that you can remove all of this file and uh, just uh, uh, put all of this variable in your php file which you are not going to do that the other the correct way to do this is just uh, i will I, i'll delete the index here and you use H the ht access file save here that ht access file here now i'll just put a little code here so that it will uh, every time anyone requests the this page it will redirect us to the public without showing the public directory and the url so here is the code it is just a few line of code and uh, this time i will come to the root directory of our project now it is going to show us the level project this time i don't have access to the env file okay still i have access to the env file 
Well, you know, it is working just fine because it was uh, just cache in my browser. I just go here and inspect element. Just open the developer tools, right click here and empty your cache. Once you empty your cache, you don't have access to env file anymore. As you can see, it is going to show as an error. If it happens for you, you just go and remove your cache and everything should work just fine. So and at this point, it's working just fine. Let's, let me log in. Here uh, we have admin at me.com PASS123 was the password and now we are in the home page where I will not go and save the password and this time we will solve the problem of the our as you know the the font awesome here so it's working for us but for most people it is not working I'll go to Google and search for font awesome npm just search it it will show you the how you can use it uh, how can you install it using npm npm install font awesome the other way to find uh, any any packages just search uh, for uh, their name here it is if it is written font awesome you can search it uh, and check it here sometimes i mix it that it is is it is uh, font awesome or font uh, uh, font uh, hyphen awesome something like that as you know it is font hyphen awesome npm install font awesome and save it to my dev dependency it will just a few seconds to install so wait as you can see it is done now uh, now we should add it in our CSS file just come here go to the resource asset inside the asset we go to the SAS here uh, above the admin LT, I will just reference it the same way as we reference them something here so I will just paste the code and it is going to work just fine as you can see we have a variable of fa font path it is going to uh, just specify the path for the the fonts and then we reference it uh, through tilde and going to font awesome scss and going to font awesome it's going to node module and on those folder it will find the font awesome here I'll save the file and come here as you can see it will recompile it and it should work just fine yeah it's successfully recompiled and this time if I refresh my page and uh, yes we have yeah we, we don't have a server here we just refresh this page that we created just now I will inspect the element and see if there is any error as you can see we have no error and the uh, font awesome is working just fine if you have any question related to the video so far yeah, feel free to comment below I'll answer them uh, as soon as possible thank you for watching